What's up YouTube, Honeybee here, bringing you a new Mortal Kombat 11 video, and there's quite a lot of stuff to go over. We have just got our very first look at Cetrion in-game with gameplay. Crazy stuff. Let's take a look at that, and we also have news of how tournaments are going to work in terms of variations with characters and the customizable abilities. We're going to go over all that fun stuff in this video. Let's get right into it. All right, so the first bit of awesome news comes straight from the Game Informer Twitter page. Um, it says, get a sneak peek at the new Mortal Kombat 11 character Cetrion in Game Informer's trailer showing off a fun month of coverage that we have in the way. So let's take a look at this crazy stuff out of nowhere. Oh Informer's cover story this month is Mortal Kombat 11. <laughs> All month long, we're rolling out exclusive features and videos on the game, including a deep dive on the brand new character Cetrion. Cetrion. Oh my God! I went to Another Realm Studios. There's more interviews with the team, recorded matches with their best players, and had a really fun rapid-fire interview with the legendary Ed Boon himself. Coming up soon on the Game Informer podcast. Look at this! Oh, we'll gameplay! What is that? Just stuff that comes. She's videos. like, she looks like she's all about uh, nature. I feel like it looks like she's all about nature, all about like the earth and the elements and stuff. We're gonna take another look through some of these things. Look, she has like water and stuff. What is that? So keep your eyes on GameFormer.com/slash Mortal Kombat. That hub will be constantly filling with very fun stuff, right, Serial? All right, so that's all that's there. Obviously, it's not that much. We get to see. A really cool look at what she looks like here. Oh, man. Come back here. Come back here, Cetrion. Looks very nice over there. She has that kind of bluish, greenish tinge to her body. Like how a butterfly over here. Like she's totally all about that whole nature thing. And I think here we actually get to see some gameplay of her right here. Jump in attack, water effects, and she has like fire effects coming from her head, from her head, from the ground. She's like. She's like the fucking avatar over here. She just needs some fucking wind, uh, air powers, and, and we're good to go. But she's literally just controlling all the elements as she like attacks you. She has earth, earth bending. Hold up. Let's take another look at this. Ed Boon himself. Look. Coming up soon. Water bending. The Game show water bending. Podcast. We'll be sharing new Fire bending. At 11. And then later on in the More month, water bending into some earth bending. Where's the air bending at? That's and crazy. The magazine, oh my god. She looks so all time. sick. Hey, I cannot wait like to see more of her. Fighting games in general. This is a month for Look at this. And then her, 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 that, we'll oh, that looked like it was actually a fatality right there. So she's going to use water and in some form for a fatality. We'll have all kinds of fun features right up until... But yeah, that's like the very first look we have of Cetrion. Crazy stuff. I can't believe, like, it's it's really out of nowhere that this whole stuff came out. And, you know, I just have to say, we have gameplay of Cetrion and we still don't have gameplay. Of, you know what? Let's move on. All right, so that's not all that we're getting from Game Informer today. We also have an article written by Game Informer here that says how Mortal Kombat 11's custom variations will work in competitive play. This is a huge thing when it comes to us tournament players because we really do want to know what is it going to be like for tournament play. We haven't had the answers to that and apparently Game Informer is the one giving us these answers. I'm going to have a link to this article in the description below as always so feel free to check it out yourself. I'm just going to go through it. Um, it's not that lengthy. It's kind of kind of short. So I'm just gonna go over it breaking it down what it's talking about. So it says here um, MK11's biggest new features of custom variation systems or whatever Which is allows players to tweak characters blah 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 creates some issues when it comes to ranked and especially local tournament play But NetherRealm is planning to scale the feature back for those situations. Let's zoom in a bit actually So yeah, NetherRealm is planning to scale the feature back for competitive play in uh, local versus blah 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 in local versus and casual online matches players can use whatever custom version of a character they've created including augments that provide bonuses like increased damage for certain moves um, while being able to create certain builds of characters means matches have more variety to them than the average fighting game not knowing what moves your opponent has going into a match can be an issue since the certain matches it could end up being more lopsided than usual this much variety can also make it difficult for players to internalize all the possible matchups. 
NetherRealm's answer to this problem is to create a set of pre-built variations for ranked and tournament play similar to Mortal Kombat X. So in Mortal Kombat X, every character had three variations with the exception of Triborg, which actually had four variations. And it seems like they're going to kind of take that same path when it comes to Mortal Kombat 11. So Devorah had Venomous, Broodmother, Swarm Queen, Maybe we're going to have variations very similar to that in Mortal Kombat 11. It says, developer has confirmed each character will have at least two pre-built variations using the same three-slot system as custom variations, though the number of variations per character could differ. So that's kind of interesting to me that why have some characters with only like two variations and then some with three? That's kind of weird. Uh, goal is to use as many of the characters' equipable moves across these variations as possible. So each one might, each one might see tournament play. But the priority will be to make sure these variations give every character a strong tool set. They're definitely well thought out. It's not like we just went, oh cool, these three things look cool, slap those in. Says NetherRealm lead designer John Edwards. They are thought out and planned to create the best variety of gameplay within the system that we have. So. There's 100% credibility, I think, to this Game Informer article. If they're actually quoting people that work at NetherRealm saying things like this, so I think that this is definitely how it's going to be, at least at launch when the game comes out. This is what NetherRealm has planned. They have planned to have preset variations just like MKX when it comes to MK11. So unfortunately, um, all of us have been playing the game and like the stress test and the beta doing whatever like stuff we want to do with them. But it looks like it's going to not have that kind of customizability um, when it comes to actual tournament play. NetherRealm then plans to balance custom abilities when necessary with these specific variations in mind and could also change the variations themselves. That's interesting. Depending on feedback from the community, they can swap moves in and out, make certain moves take up two slots instead of one and more. So they're already saying here that some of the variations, some of the variations of characters, they could completely revamp and essentially just give them a, a new move set or change how good certain things are. So for example, um, Cabal had a move in the beta, which was the hook grab that was very very strong because it led to extended combo potential and damage and whatever and it was only one slot so i feel like a move like that for example could be something like they would look at and be like yeah well it launches gets a full combo extension maybe that should be two slots similar to how baraka had it gutted as like a two slot move that let him um continue a combo like nothing else could let them do that so it looks like they're kind of thinking of potentially balancing variations that way that way high level players have some idea of what they're getting into when they see the name of a variation when playing in ranked or tournaments so that's very interesting however you'll still be able to take your custom characters look online and will be able to use augments that don't affect gameplay such as those that provide bonuses uh, experience for their going on streaks giving hardcore players a reason to edit characters to give them that extra flair so that's what we have for today lots of news i think the ability to to only choose the variations given is going to be something that a lot of us are going to have to really see if it's if it's good if it works if it doesn't work i know there are a lot of people already vocal in the community uh like top players and stuff that were saying that they think customized variations would have been the best way to go but if netherrealm themselves have decided that this is how they want nor tournaments to be and if there's a pro series obviously they're gonna have the control to do how they want it like do it how they want to do it so that's very interesting news to me personally. This is the kind of stuff that I love to, to, to find out about. Um, I think being able to see Cetrion today was also so cool. I really hope, I really hope we can see Devora sometime soon, guys. Honestly, honestly, I really do. But with that said, thank you guys so much for checking out this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought of Cetrion in the trailer, and let me know what you guys think of these new tournament rules that we actually have somewhat in place. Thank you guys. See you next time.